How I made $30,000 a month as a car salesman at 22 years old. Check it out. What's going on guys, it's Corey. So yes, I did make over $30,000 in one month as a car salesman when I was only 22 years old. Here's the pay stub to prove it. All right, the 27 is after my draw, by the way, right? So it's 27 after draw. If you were to include the draw in there, it was a little bit over $30,000 in one single month. And I was only 22 years old when I did it. All right, so a lot of you might be asking, how did I accomplish this, right? So let me give you a little quick backstory of myself. I got into the car industry when I was only 19 years old. All right, I first started off at a Chevrolet dealership. All right, didn't stay there for too long. Then I ended up going to a Toyota store, all right? So when I got to this Toyota store, it was a pretty big Toyota store. I had a bunch of people in there selling, you know, 20, 30, some people even selling 40 cars every single month, right? And I always wanted to figure out how can I do this? How can I make the same money they're making? They're making 10, 15, 20 grand every single month. And I was curious, right? But the problem was I was only 19 years old. And every time I would ask somebody like, hey, you know, how are you selling this many cars? Every time I try to fish for information, They'll tell me, you know, oh, I've been here for 10 years. You know, I got a big book of business. I'm living off repeats and referrals. They'll tell me all the things that weren't in my favor at only 19 years old. So obviously I stayed curious. I was always searching and trying to find ways to still make more money. And then I came up with three keys, right? And which I'm gonna share with you. Three keys that I learned along the way that helped me get to 10, 20, and then eventually pass even $30,000 in one single month. All right, so let's get right into it. The first key that you all need to understand as far as making 30 grand in one single month or really just making five digits, right? If you want to make five digits as a car salesman, there's one principle you must understand. Number one is it's a business within a business. All right. So you must understand that as a car salesman, you have your own smaller business within just a bigger business. But here's the good news is that you don't have any expenses or right? at least business related expenses. You literally get to use the dealership's inventory. You get to use everything that they provide for you and you don't have to pay a dollar. All you're doing is you're making the sales and making a commission off the sales, right? So you need to adopt the mentality that you have a business within a business. So that makes you a business owner, right? Because it doesn't matter what the next person sells. Your friend can sell 30 cars and if you don't sell one, you're not getting any of his 30 cars, right? You're not making any money from what they sell. So that's exactly how a business operates. You need to worry about your own business and figuring out ways to grow your business. All right. So many people treat this like it's just a job. All right. And not that they're a business owner. And when you have that mentality, then you don't really find ways to grow. And then you also lack self accountability and it prevents you from actually reaching the numbers that you want to hit. Right. So, Hey guys, so a lot of you may be interested in figuring out how you can sell more cars or just make more money in general. Listen, DM me the word sold on Instagram at real Corey Brunette. Once again, DM me the word sold on Instagram at real Corey Brunette. I'm looking forward to helping you out. See if I can share some nuggets with you. More importantly, looking forward to meeting you. Let's get back to the video. Let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever seen a business owner just sit around and do nothing? Right. And then somehow magically their business grew, right? You should have answered no. All right. So why are some of you out there just sitting around waiting for opportunities to come by? Right. I see so many people just sitting on the porch, sitting inside, waiting for ups, just hanging out. Right. As a business owner, you don't wait for opportunities. You go create them. You create opportunities. All right. And that's what we're going to get into. Number two, understand that as a car salesman, you have your own business within a business. That's the first mental mind shift that you have to adopt if you want to be successful and make even close to 30 grand in one single month. You must understand that this is your own thing. No one's going to come and help you out. No one's going to come save you. No one's going to put money in your pocket. You need to adopt the mentality that this is a business within a business. The second key that helped me make over $30,000 in one single month was generating my own traffic and opportunities. So yes, all of these go into place. All right. So part of understanding that you have your own business within the business is that you need to generate your own traffic and opportunities. All right. Once again, so many people I just catch just sitting around waiting for opportunities to come by. Understanding that you need to generate your own traffic and opportunities. All right. Part of what made me successful is that if this was a pie, right? And this was a traffic pie, majority of the pie would be my own traffic, right? And this little piece of the pie here would be just extra traffic that the dealership generated for me. I always tell everyone this that always asks me, you know, Corey, how can I make over 10, 20 grand every single month as a car salesman? I say, well, you must generate your own traffic, right? You can't rely on the dealership for opportunities. You should always look at whatever the dealership brings in as extra food on your plate. I say you should never make up your entire plate. So many of you, the dealership makes up your entire plate. So if it's slow, you start complaining. If there's no customers coming in, then you have no food right? If you create your own opportunities and traffic, then whatever the dealership brings in is just extra food for you. It never makes up the entirety of your plate. 
So there's plenty of ways to generate your own traffic, all right? There's tons of ways. You can get a bunch of word of mouth. You can get a bunch of referrals. There's plenty of old ways. There's plenty of new ways. Now, my personal favorite one and the one that worked the best for me was social media. All right, I killed it on social media. You can check out my Corey King Automotive page on Instagram, scroll through it. You can see all my customers there. The proof is in the pudding, right? So I was very good on social media. I generated tons of traffic through social media. It got so big that people locally, like if I would go to the store, people would start recognizing me. I used to always see on Instagram, right? I became known as the neighborhood car guy. So through my social media marketing efforts, I was able to generate my own traffic, which I never was in a position to have to rely on the dealership for leads. I was always working my own, trying to generate my own. And if the dealership gave me anything extra you know perfect right if i come early in the morning like 9 a.m in the morning i check my calendar you know for my leads and i see i got an appointment supposed to be here at like 12 right and it's 9 a.m and a up comes in oh well, yeah i'm gonna take the up right i'm waiting for my appointment later on in the day i'm not doing anything early in the morning let me take the up let me work a deal by the time i finish selling the upper car my customer comes in at 12 o'clock i sell them a car too so it was just always extra food on the plate for me once again it never made up the entirety of the plate so that's the second key i got for you all the best possible way i found to generate my own traffic is through social media marketing, running ads, building a personal brand, which is also very important, right? So when people came into the dealership, they knew who to come look for. They know that they wanted to work with me and only me, which made it hard for anyone to escape me. So all of these work hand in hand is having a business within a business. And once again, the second key is generate your own opportunities and traffic. So that way you don't have to rely on the dealership. And the third key I have for you all is learn how to make gross. So the third key that I had to learn in order to make this type of money was that I had to learn how to make gross because I believe when I made over 30 grand in one month, I only sold like 29 cars, right? So I didn't go like and sell 50 cars to make this type of money. I did it only selling 29. And why is because I understood how to make gross. So making gross helped me maximize every single opportunity that was given to me, right? So I'll give you a quick tip as to what I mean by making gross, right? Because people think it's just simply selling a car over what you own it for, right? No, there's a bunch of nuances when it comes to making gross, right? Let's say you got a customer, one has good credit and the other customer has bad credit. So the way you're gonna work these two customers are not gonna be the same. You're not gonna work the customer that has good credit the same you would as someone who has bad credit if your objective was to make gross, which was my objective. If I'm selling 29 cars in order to make 30 grand, and that means I have to make gross on every single deal, right? So that's one. Good credit customer, you know that you can land them on basically any car, right? You know, if their credit is good, they're gonna qualify. The interest rate doesn't really matter. The bank is gonna approve it. It now all you have to do is find a car that you own it under market value or you own it below the book, and then you land a customer on that car, you sell it for market value or over market value, and you make gross that way. Someone who has bad credit, you can't work the deal the same way, right? You kind of work it backwards. And I had to learn that, right? So I'm giving you all a nugget if you all don't know. Some of you probably do, a lot of you probably don't, all right? Bad credit customer. Let's look at it from the bank's perspective. If they have a customer that submitted an application and their credit is bad, what's gonna help that bank approve them? Well, you have to make it as low risk as possible for the bank. So banks wanna make what? How do they make their money? They make their money on interest. You know, a bad credit customer, they're gonna get hit with a high interest rate, right? So in order for the bank to approve them, you gotta find a car for that customer to where the bank can make as much interest as possible. It might sound bad, but that's really just the case, right? So you can't go sell this customer here with bad credit. If the year right now is 2024, you can't put them on the 2024 because then there's maximum interest rates that the bank can charge the customer. So you might have to land this customer on, let's say a 2017, right? Because then the bank can charge more interest which would then means that they're gonna charge the dealership a lower bank fee, which would help you make more gross, right? So that's just one example of what I mean by making more gross. And I got tons of them. I'll be making more videos in the future, helping you all understand how to make more gross, but that's just one. Second thing that came with making more gross is that I was a big used car guy, right? I sold a lot of used cars. If you check out my Corey King Automotive page on Instagram, once again, you'll scroll down, you'll see tons of used car deals. Why used cars? Well, very similar to what I said earlier, used cars, you could take them in on trade, you can buy them from the customer. And when you do that, dealerships normally normally buy them under market value. So when you buy them under market value, you can go back and resell it over market value or at market value and make gross, right? As opposed to new cars, the problem with new cars when it comes to making gross is that you're selling a commoditized product, right? This dealership here has the same exact product as the one next door if you all are the same brand, right? This Toyota store over here and this Toyota store over here have the same exact product, right? So now customers can price match you, right? And they can try to haggle you down. So it makes it hard for you to make gross on a new car because prices are public, right? MSRP, plus other dealerships sell the exact same product as you, which makes it hard for you to sell gross. My used car general manager used to have a saying, he used to say, no two used cars are equal, right? Which is the case. There's no two used cars that are the same. 
You can't really say the same thing for new cars. So I focus more so on selling used cars to make gross because that's really just where the money is at in a normal car business. Selling used cars, that's where you make most of your gross at. So that's three keys that help me make over 30K in one single month. If you think there's anything here that you don't understand, watch the video again. All right, try to pick up on any of the pointers that you might have missed. It's a lot of information in here, especially if you're a beginner. Now, I'm not gonna guarantee that you're gonna make 30K in a month if you follow these exact principles, but I can tell you, you're gonna definitely at least be able to make 10 and then eventually keep scaling from there, right? With consistency and with time and start actually understanding the business more and more, you can eventually scale to over 30K in one single month because I did it myself and I did it with bare experience, very new in the industry and yeah, only at 22 years old. So I know you can definitely do it as well. But leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see next and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. I got two options for you. You can either watch the next video or you can DM me the word sold on Instagram at Real Corey Brunette. If you're ready to take your car sales career to the next level, I'm looking forward to helping you out. More importantly, looking forward to meeting you. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a blessed day.